What's up guys? It's been almost three years since frothy hoseless lift came out and it's been absolutely amazing uh, for apartment dwellers, people who live in drought situations, winter washes, that kind of thing. Now, over that time period, people have emailed me and said, hey, can we squeeze a little bit of boost in the aerator with frothy to kind of get that anti-salt characteristics. And I said, yeah, yeah, you can do that. But at some point it becomes a little challenging because that product is designed to be used with water. So I said, okay, why don't we rethink this a minute? Why don't we just make a new frothy with anti-salt characteristics in it, exactly the same as Boost. Now, the question you might be thinking, why would you have two of them? So let me give you a little bit of an example here. If you live in Pennsylvania or Tennessee, it doesn't matter, right? In the middle of the summer, you're gonna use this. But if you're in the middle of the summer and you live in Miami, or in my case, I do a lot of customers out in Long Island, meaning right around the ocean, you're still gonna use anti-salt because it's just salt. It doesn't necessarily need to be in winter. Again, if you're in winter, use salt. If you're by the ocean, use the salt one. If you're in the middle of the country and it's summertime, you don't need the anti-salt one. So that's kind of the questions that a lot of people have been asking so far. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna repeat the same steps I did three years ago on my father-in-law's car, the same exact car, same location. I think he's gonna dig that. And I'm gonna show you that it's it literally exactly the same, the same ratios, the same everything. You're just getting a whole lot more uh, anti-salt characteristics with the new one. So let's fill up the aerator and go surprise my father-in-law. As a reminder, frothy anti-salt is concentrated, so be sure to dilute it one ounce of frothy to 20 ounces of water. For ease of use with the aerator, use two ounces of frothy anti-salt to 40 ounces of water to utilize the aerator's larger capacity. As a rule of thumb, two ounces is roughly six capfuls of frothy, and 40 ounces of water is just over the shoulder of the base, but there are ounce indicators on the see-through window on the side. Once the base is full with 40 ounces of water, wipe off the suds, which is common, by the way. Again, this is a concentrated product. Then gently stir with the top on. There's no need to shake it. Okay, we're at my father-in-law's house. We have the exact same car. We're in the exact same spot. It's just three years later. We're going to do the exact same process, but this time use frothy anti-salt lift. So what you're gonna do is work one section at a time, take your microfiber towel, rotate the towel as you're wiping so there's fresh microfibers touching the paint to minimize scratching. When this becomes full, put it to the side, grab a new one, then repeat the entire process all the way around the car. The first part of the process is to lift the dirt with the microfiber towels. Now the second part of this two-step process is to then moisturize the paint with hydrate immediately afterwards to pick up any leftover residue or smudges from step number one. Repeat this two-step process panel by panel and be sure to use a clean side of the microfiber towel for each panel when you're using frothy and a completely different towel for when you're just using hydrate. Now, if you remember from the Boost video a few years ago, I've added key lengths and amine film formers that first separate the iron and other corrosive metals from the surface of your paint, allowing them to be scooped up by the towel. And then secondly, it leaves behind a film on the surface to protect your paint from salt water. Now, we demonstrated this in the Boost video with freshly cut tin can tops left in water and a water boost mixture that showed the active ingredients within Boost, minimizing the accumulation of rust compared to just water alone. Also keep in mind that the leftover frothy anti-salt will evaporate in just a few minutes if it's left in the seams and the crevices of the car. Frothy can also be used on wheels and tires, motorcycles, motorhomes, matte finishes, on coated and uncoated paints, boats, engines, engine compartments, at self-service car washes, and anywhere that needs a healthy wash but a hose or power washer is not ideal, like the trunk of this old Porsche 928 on cleaning out before reinstalling the carpet. What makes this so special is that it's a foaming, lubricated car wash that you can use without a hose. Once I was all done, I cleaned the windows with Obey, and then I topped the paint off with Reflex Pro Top Coat for a vehicle with or without a coating to make cleaning in the future much easier. Then I dressed the tires and the trim to add a little bit of a pop to the Subaru, plus my father-in-law was standing five feet away watching my every move, so I thought it was a good idea. Well, guys, we're all done. Frothy anti-salt looks absolutely amazing, but the true critic, father-in-law, what do you think? Looks good. <laughs> well, I'll see you in three years. <laughs>